Brilliant Minutes, sponsored by Sinclair Heating and Cooling. For 24-7 comfort on call. Hello, Brad. Should we Greetings. tap the brakes? That is the big question. The speed limit sign is the law. It's not a suggestion. Su correct. <laughs> but the question is, is how many actually go the speed limit? Some are a little bit slower. Are many. you a five guy over, seven guy over? I'll go three. Three, three, okay. three is kind All of right. my limit. But, I'm but, kind of a seven guy. But it makes me mad when I'm going 68 and there are still people zooming by. They've got to be <laughs> 10 over. It's like, where are the cops in you need? Right. We, we've all been there. We've all felt that way, right? But the thing about speed limits is that if you're ever driving around, have you ever caught yourself saying, what is the speed limit here? It's been so long since I've seen a sign, right. you know. Sure. So this helps to solve that problem. And I should mention that the technology we're going to talk about has been employed already to some extent by Tesla in conjunction with um, GPS information, sure. okay? But what we're talking about today is something from Ford okay. right here in America, okay? And, and it's actually been available to some extent so far for almost two years, but it is something, it's not standard equipment. Okay. You have to pay more to get it, okay? So what it is, is it's speed sign recognition, okay? So let's talk a little bit about how it works. When you're driving with your cruise control activated, onboard cameras will read the speed limit signs as you drive by them and the cameras will compare what you should be doing and where your cruise control is set, okay? Big Brother is watching. It will adjust your speed automatically. So if you're going, you know, if sure. you have your cruise control set at 70 and the speed limit is 60, it's gonna drop you down. Or conversely, if you're going 50 and the speed limit is 60, it's gonna speed you up, okay? okay? Um, the current posted speed limit is also displayed on the vehicle's instrument cluster. My car so has that, correct, but that, doesn't do the other part. Correct. That, that's why this is kind of new where it's connecting yeah. the cruise control with what, what's already available. Okay, But the system can be tweaked a little bit to maintain your speed slightly above or slightly below the, the limit. So I'm sure some people will appreciate that. And even better... You'd probably be okay at three over. Probably I'd be I tweaking. might be in trouble at seven. <laughs> well, there's good news for you and people who like to drive okay. a little bit faster because the system can also be uh, totally disabled. Okay. okay. All so right. so think about that. But you know, there are some people who say this is a great thing. This is really a good thing because it helps alleviate the stress and guesswork out of managing sure. your speed. It can reduce speeding tickets. I think we all would like that feature, right? And it may improve road safety. It will prevent people sure. from driving too fast and pre prevent them from driving too unusually slow, right. which also which creates a problem. Correct. Right. But not everybody is happy, Chris. No, oh, no. Well, that goes for everything. <laughs> right, right. Well, some people worry about privacy, and it's a good question because how might this data be collected? Where would it be stored? In the cloud? Could the cloud be hacked? Will the information be shared with the police department or insurance companies? Okay, the insurance company is interesting because a lot of them now have the app that yep. kind of monitors your trips and all that, and that this could be used to determine your rates. Correct. Correct, so that's something to think about. Also, some people worry about the reliability of the system. How accurate is the sign reading technology? Sure. If, if it reads a sign that says 60 and it thinks it, it's 90, right. hang on, you're going for a ride, <laughs> right? And also, how will it behave in abrupt changes, construction zones, emergency vehicles coming up on you? Don't know, unanswered questions. But one thing for sure, I bet most of the time if you're using it, you're not going to have to worry about getting a speeding ticket. By the way, this is what Ford says. Driver assisted features are supplemental, not meant, to, not meant to replace the driver's attention, judgment, and need to control a vehicle. Important words. All right, Brad, thanks okay. so much.